Today we are going to renew the contracts of Remy and Asaidi. Remy uh, scoring goals, playing really well for the Crumpet Addicts. It was a no-brainer to keep Remy on, guys. Mm -hmm. And we've also got a lot of money to spend here today. We're going to bring in a lot of new players. As you can see, we're getting rid of some of these non-rares. Just discarding Adam them. there going. Yeah, Adam's gone. I mean, he was a good passer of the ball in corners, mm -hmm. those set pieces. Those crosses were fantastic. But it was time to go. We had to move on. Mm -hmm. uh, guys, we buy Lescott and Vermeulen. Now, big, big mistake. I already had Vermeulen. I don't know what I was thinking. Why did I buy him again, Matt? Yellow. I need a serious you? slap for yeah. that. Um, so we, we now sell Vermeulen and bring in Kabul in the centre-back. We get Jack Wilshire. Um, creative who, player, you know. He can be yeah, really Yeah, I mean, creative. we'll certainly see what Jack Wilshire is capable of. Um, not really too much to say on that signing. And Mignolet in goal. A goalkeeper I've tried in the past who I've had great experience with. He's a fantastic, reliable goalkeeper. Probably mm -hmm. better than Begovic, in my opinion. Got Brad um, Friedel. Yeah, Brad Friedel has <laughs> gone. Thank God, because he's not a great goalkeeper, in my opinion, on this game. So we've got good goalkeepers now anyway I think and uh, we've made big big step forwards here today guys we're setting up now to go into the first game so guys going into my first game today obviously we've just made some new signings brought some new players into the squad you certainly expect to see some better performances I mean the performances so far up until now have been quite high standard I'd expect to see that improve yeah I mean sometimes when you bring in some new players you know a group of new players sometimes it can be hard to adapt on your first game to sort of because sometimes it changes the team completely yeah definitely I mean you know you can get comfortable with a team and yeah. um, you can know a team so well know yeah. what it's stronger and I certainly did know my team really mm -hmm. well and you're right I mean it's quite a big uh, leap to bring in suddenly four or five new players. Yeah. It might take a bit of time, yeah. but I really feel like the squad um, yeah. is generally looking really, really good, and I'm really happy with it. Mm -hmm. And then here, guys, we cross the ball into the box to get the second goal. As you can see, we're cruising this game 2-0. Uh, it's just what you want to say on your first game of the episode, and you'll go into the second one with confidence um, yeah. because I do actually play these games in a spurts of two, yeah. you know, so yeah. it's exactly how these episodes pan out, guys. Mm -hmm. um, it really does help for the That's second game yeah. when you win the first one and then Jack Wilshere uh, picks up the ball gives it to Sinclair and that's a fantastic strike from Jesus. Sinclair Matt I've praised this it's guy incredible. you know such a good player scoring goals <laughs> wow. really happy and what a great start to the episode a 3-0 win really happy with the new signings in yeah. that game and as you can see we definitely deserve that um, yeah. absolutely dominated and now we're going to go into the second game Guys, after the first game, we're now going to make some changes going into the second game. We bring back Hernandez, Dyer from Swansea. We're also going to bring in Sissoko, Flamini and Asaidi in the left wing. So we are now prepared for the second game of the day. And so far, we've had a really good run. Hopefully, we can continue that, guys. As you can see, this guy's got a really good oh, team. I mean, Matt, I've yeah, got to say, no. one of the best premiership teams I think you could possibly Yeah, buy. I was um, literally just going to say, that is definitely a yeah, strong team. A really guys. strong team. Two players are certainly worrying me, Aguero and Navas. Yeah. Navas is so so fast and one of yeah. the very few players I actually really struggled to defend against on this game. Rooney is and as well though. Rooney's you know he might not be fast but yeah. he's got the power of yeah. that shot. He's got the strength Get yeah, his shooting him. is amazing. But Matt, that's one thing I feel I'm strong at is defending. Mm -hmm. um, you certainly the strikes, but yeah. there's one thing that can catch me out oh. is pace. And that's one thing oh about Navas God. that will beat me is his pace. Really? Yeah, he gets a kickoff goal there, guys. Um, this game was played before last night's FIFA board episode yesterday. Wow. And last night, if you saw that, I got kickoff glitch twice. Yeah. And I did discuss this. You've got to get a man back and mark it. Um, and I promise you, I will be learning that from now because it mm -hmm. lost me that game. I absolutely dominated that game. Didn't mm -hmm. deserve to lose. Mm. and a kickoff glitch goal has lost me the game as you can see dominated but you know what it happens guys it, it does happen every single player is going to lose games like that mm. and all you can do is forget it and get on with it So guys, the first game today was fantastic, a really good win. The second one was disappointing because we played really well and lost the game. But I did say at the end there, um, it's always going to happen to any player. But it's only a minor setback. We're still doing really well. Let's not uh, take that away from Team Babas. Guys, I'm going to buy a brand new CDM. Who's it going to be? Garcia or Teote? I want you to take a look at these guys. Have a look at the stats and tell me which one should I buy. What I want you to do is leave a comment down below right now and leave a dash Baba and tell me which one to buy. <laughs> 
here then guys so getting my team ready for the games today we are going to go into the first game with full on confidence we have to get a win to get us off onto yeah. a good start today and as you can see we've got a few little contract issues we're going to put them on the reserves just for now uh, yeah. and hopefully you know change that in the second game and I just ask you something by the way Matt I see you've got Honda in your squad I did try Honda yeah. a few uh, series ago and yeah. I thought he was absolutely outstanding Amazing. how yeah. are you finding Honda in your team yeah he's incredible right he's always in the right spot at the right time and if you do get him in front of goal he will bury a yep. you know a chance he's such he's, a good player he's Fantastic. clinical he's really really pinnacle to my team at the moment and you know if I was to go into a game feeling confident I've got to got, have Honda on the pitch let's get into the first game so getting into the first game here, here is my first opponent. And as you can see, he's got Cavani, he's got Menes, he's got a very nice little team. A lot of French players in there as well. Um, basically a League One team. And so we are going to get into this game with a little bit of a bad start. I'm always starting my games really, really bad, guys. I usually concede in the first 10 minutes. And it seems to be a real bad pattern that I'm kind of stuck in at the moment. But can that be an advantage if you think about it? It could be. If your it opponent scores early on, does it that then give you incentive? to uh, go, go and play better essentially. It absolutely does. It did anyway until he got the second goal with Cavani and Cavani is such a deadly player, yeah. you know. I've used him. He is just incredible at finishing, you know. He's yep. strengthy. He is ridiculous. If you've not tried him guys, you have to try out Cavani. And here we do make it back to 2-2. We're doing well. We're pulling it back. And here Gomez actually gets his hat trick. That was a very, very soft goal. But I will take that goal and we actually get another chance here and and Honda, we were talking about Honda yeah. before, he buries it and he actually ends the game for me there because the guy quits on me, okay? So we won that one 4-2, a confident win today. We said we needed to get off to a good start. We've got off to a good start. We were 2-0 down. We brought it back yeah. to 4-2 and we do win the title there. So we have some money. Let's get into the next uh, game and let's see what we can do with that money. Right then guys, so we're going to get into this go here, the second game coming up. We got about 6,000 coins, we just gained 5,000 coins from winning the division, finally. And we are going to purchase some contract cards, sort out those players that I put on reserves. And also we're going to buy a new player, you guys were, you know, shouting, I was hearing, I was reading. And we're going to put Hernanes into the team. And this guy is a great skiller, alright? But I'm not a skiller, so that poses a little bit of a, maybe a waste, I don't know really. I mean, that, that's an interesting point, I mean in the past I've bought players that are great skillers. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm You're not, not a skiller myself. Skiller. But does does that, it still advantage you to have this player? Does that still mean you cannot buy that player just because you don't do skills? Yeah. I'm not so sure about I mean, that. I, I, the one thing I noticed about him, you know, he's really, really um, quick and sort of yeah, responsive. Just, just generally very quick So that the really helps, yeah. And also, you know, like fake shots, you know, he's really sort of skillful in that area. So, you know, I think it can help. I think it can help. Well, so I, I don't know about you, Matt, but I, yeah. I call myself a light skiller. Yeah. I do skills right. now and again. Very now and again. I, I do want to learn some more skills i'm not gonna lie yeah i mean it would be nice to learn yeah, some more yeah. i've got to admit even you know for my game but yeah, yeah but okay so we're 2-0 down guys and we do get it back to 2-1 cavani was killing me he killed me in the first game and he's killing me in this game it's crazy this guy had cavani as well and it is he just killed me he just tore me apart and as you can see by the stats though you know i did dominate the game i felt like i should have really come away with something and guarin had a chance right on the end of the game for some reason he headed it instead of kicked it with his foot obviously and um, yeah, so, you know, we lose that game today. Disappointing. It seems to be a little bit of a pattern. Win the first game, lose the second game. But hopefully we can do something about that. Let's get into the 